video, I want to talk about two theorems that can help you solve geometry problems. Um, in mathematics, a theorem is something that has already been proven, so I won't be going into the proofs of these theorems. Instead, what I want to do is show you what the theorems tell you about a set of parallel lines. So, we're going to start by denoting that these are parallel. The corresponding angles theorem states if a line intersects two parallel lines, then the corresponding angles are congruent. So, let's take these parallel lines and we're going to cut through them with a transversal line. Transversal line. At each intersection where the transversal line crosses a parallel line, there will be four angles that are formed. One, two, three, and four. For the bottom, five, six, seven, and eight. The corresponding angles theorem specifically tells you something about the angles around the intersections. So in this case, angles in the same relative position are corresponding and are congruent. Um, congruent just means they are equal. So one is going to be equal to five, two is equal to six, three is equal to seven, and four is equal to eight. The way that I like to think about this is the corresponding angles theorem starts with parallel lines. So you're, you're given that the lines are parallel, then you can infer something about the angles. In this case, that angles in corresponding locations are congruent. So this is how I like to visualize it. Um, then we we'll move over to our second theorem, the converse of the corresponding angles theorem. Let's see if we can pull this all the way over. This theorem does the opposite. So if you are given information about congruent corresponding angles, you can infer that the lines are parallel. Um, so let's draw out the angles again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if somehow you were able to figure out that, let's say angle one and angle five were congruent and angle four and angle eight were congruent. Then what you could do is you could infer that these lines are parallel. Um, so if you just look at the converse in the name, that kind of explains how the theorem is a little bit reverse of the first one. Um, but knowing these two theorems, you can take some complex problems and you can very quickly get to some easier solutions.